Good morning. Happy Sunday. It's literally the first Sunday of the year. I'm working. I'm still slightly sick. Um, I think out of 100%, I'm probably at a good 79, 80%, um, which is a lot better than Wednesday, because Wednesday I was down to like 50%. I was ready to like... You talking to me? Because I'm sick. Don't talk to me. Don't look at me. Don't breathe my way. Don't say nothing to me. Because I'm sick. Okay? <laughs> Anyways. Um, this is vlog number two. Vlog number two. Vlog number two. I've been trying to figure out what to vlog about. My sisters and my brothers who watch YouTube videos, they were like, yeah, don't vlog until you have like a major event coming up. I don't have major events. I'm a very boring person. I go to work. And I go to the gym. I ain't got a nigga. I'm single as hell. I'm ashy as hell. This is my life. So I'm going to just vlog my reality. And my reality is my bed is still half made. Okay? This, this is this is pretty sickening. I'm about to fold these actually. Put up my little cute pillows. And then feel better about myself. Because it's a new year. This shit... This is not new, Phoebes. We gotta get rid of this, okay? This, this, this is bad. This is not good. It's not good. Like, <sighs> yeah. So I'm about to take a shower, make some coffee, drink some water, drink my medicine, and go to work. Um, I work in the hospital. I work in admissions, so I bring in the patients. I see the patients. So, I have patients coming in today, so I have to go see them. It's still cold as hell in the DMV. Still cold, like negative two degrees. Like, why are we even doing anything cold? Why did the government not shut down cold? Why are offices and hospitals still open? Well, hospitals gotta stay open because the patient's gonna die. But like, why is everything else cold? And it's like, why don't I have a nigga cold? Like, if I had a nigga cold, his ass would be outside warming up the car to take me to work. But I'm single. Yeah. Very single. If you know anybody looking for a girl that they want to take to work, let them know. I am here. Hello. So I'm getting ready for work, but today starts my 24-week um, weight loss fitness challenge. And I have to take my before pictures. I already took the pictures, but I wanted to get how I looked on camera to upload to YouTube so you guys can have like a visual of everything moving and shaking. So this is what I look like from the side. This is what I look like from the back. This is what I look like from the other side. Um, so the challenge is gonna run from today, which is June 7th, um, all the way, I mean, I said June. Today, which is January 7th, all the way to June 24th. So it starts on a Sunday and ends on a Sunday. Um, my goal is not really to lose pounds. It's to get rid of the rest of my love handles, get rid of the inner thigh fat, get rid of this, and just get tighter. Um, my body fat is like at a 30% right now. So my goal is to drop it down to like 25%. Is that going to be easy? Hell no. I'm not going to do it. Hell yeah. Just got to work. Um, I have a few patients coming. I think I have three patients coming. Um, yeah. It's still cold as hell in Maryland. But whatever. I am still at work. It is now 4.39. My last patient is here. For some odd reason, I was having cramps all day, and it may be because I have not had any water. All I had was some coffee, but then I checked my period chart. Why is my period coming in 12 days? And it just came. 
if there's one thing about having PCOS that kind of annoys me, it's just how how regular my period is. Um, I am thankful that I finally have a period, but godly. Sometimes I'm just like, Lord, can I please get a full 28 days? Can I get a full 30 days? Like, I don't ever want it to go missing, but I just need, like, a break, you know? Like, can I just get a few days? Well, it's a good thing I ain't got a man. How am I going to explain this to him? Bruh, I, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. I mean, I just got off my period, but I'm on my period again, so no sexy time. It's days like this at work that makes me want to become a stripper. I am still at work and it's 524. Like why? Why? Why am I still here? And then I have so much shit that I still have to do before I can leave. So I know for a fact I'm not going to be gone out of here till like 6 o'clock. It's not fair. Okay. My desk is clear. I'm about to go home and eat because I feel like my stomach is touching my spine. Um, that's how hungry I am. I'm actually still here because I was waiting to see one of my patient's family members, but they didn't show up. So now, I'm waiting for my YouTube video to upload. Because <laughs> it's 30 minutes, and it's super, super long, and I'm so sorry. And it's taking forever to upload. So I'm going to stay at work for five more minutes, and I hope it finishes finally going home I feel like I've been here all day I have been here all day um I don't even know what I'm gonna eat <laughs> cause I forgot to put some chicken out to cook and my bacon is still in the freezer oh my god I'm gonna starve I'm gonna order some wings cause I can't I cannot right, so I came home my mom went to famous days I'm gonna skip the fries but I'm gonna take some ribs and I know it's not dry rub, but I don't care. I'm about to warm up some sauteed watercress, and I'm gonna eat it with the ribs, and then probably have a protein shake and be done. Exclusive about Metro. See? wants to give you a credit for your trip if you are delayed more than 15 minutes. Ha! Please praise please Jesus! Please praise Tuss Jesus! Broke the story on Twitter and we've been talking to him throughout the evening to get the details on Yes! This. Give me the details. Is an effort to win back riders. Win me it back. only apply to the weekday rush hour period. Yes. It's called the Customer Confidence Program. All right. Because I ain't got no confidence in you, Metro. Come on. Much more on this tomorrow. <laughs> what? New tonight. Because these Possible motherfuckers know I'm always late because of them. So yes, give me back my money if you're trying to win me back. Or else I will be back in my Uber as long as I can afford it. You hear me? Ah! Yes, Metro. Let's keep this up. You know, I appreciate this. Cost customer satisfaction, customer confidence. Yes. I went to school with him, you guys. <laughs> Today. It was too fucking cold for this. Oh, hell no. And they weren't giving you a free ride. You just had to take your pants off. You still have to pay the ride. Like, you want me to catch pneumonia? Look at Anthony. Oh, my God. No, nigga, it's cold as shit. You try to get pneumonia out here and just live your life? Nah, my nigga. Just catch pneumonia and die, you mean. But y'all still had to pay, though. The no like, pants ride has been a tradition in D.C. for 10 years now. That's great. You know, Doug, just all going to be life, sick tomorrow. Like the guy said. Yeah, exactly. Just right. Hell your no, life. no, just no. Y'all going to die. die. No, 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 just no. Just live your life. A.K.A. Yeah. just die. Just catch no, pneumonia. Just, just go to work. Just cough and hack your lungs out and go get other people sick because your ass wanted to ride on the train with no pants on. Mind you, you still had to pay to get on the train. It was not a free ride. So, why are they doing that? It was like 13 degrees today. I'm not fucking with that. No. I don't even think I would have did it for a free ride. No. 10 years of tradition. I don't care.